My name is Emil Javier. I'm a graduate of uh, agriculture in UP Los Baños. My career spanned over 40 years in the Philippines and outside the country. And among the positions I have held were founding director of Institute of Plant Breeding, the National Institute of Biotechnology. I was chancellor of UP Los Baños. I was minister for science during the Marcos administration. And later on, I was UP president. Abroad, uh, I was the Director General of the Asian Vegetable Center in Taiwan. Uh, I was a Senior Research Fellow in, in The Hague in the Netherlands. And I was Chair of the Science Council of the Consultative Group for International Agricultural Research or CGIAR and the FAO World Bank. In 1962, when I went for graduate studies in agronomy at the University of Illinois, that was at the start when they were beginning to unravel the nature, structure, and function of DNA. At that time, I knew intuitively that as an agriculturist, as a plant breeder, agronomist, that knowledge will become very, very important. So when I came back, when we put up the Institute of Plant Breeding in 1975 under a presidential decree by President Marcos, I made sure that in addition to the conventional agricultural scientists like myself, I'm an agronomist plant breeder, the plant pathologist and entomologist, I recruited a biochemist, I recruited a tissue culture expert, and a virologist. To, to make sure that we have all these elements in preparation for real biotechnology in the future. Because at that time, biotechnology was confined to bacteria in Escherichia coli and viruses. But I knew that later on it will be used for plants and animals. And so that was uh, the preparation for the Institute of Plant Breeding. That's why we have all that capacity even in as early as 1975. Later on, I was made uh, Minister of Science by President Marcos. About 1980, 1981, I persuaded President Marcos to put up the, uh, the National Institute of Biotechnology. Uh, there was a big investment in, uh, in people, in resources, and in buildings to put up the Biotech uh, Institute. You know, biotechnology is a tool to doing things. As a plant breeder, that's a basic tool. But I know that there are certain kinds of traits which are very difficult to breed. And that's why, you know, uh, conventional breeding has not worked. So with this new tool, there are many opportunities for doing things that you could not normally do. And, though, and so that is an advantage. We really must master biotechnology ourselves. And it's improving all the time. And that's why we have to keep on training our own people, strengthening our institutions, solving our own problems. We have just begun. And uh, even now there are new techniques, new methodologies in biotechnology. And therefore, in order to just keep pace, we, we just have to work harder and, and persevere. To our politicians and leaders, we just have to understand that this is just a tool, a new tool, that if we deprive ourselves, it's going to be our great disadvantage. We assure our leaders and so on that our scientists are doing the job, we know what we're doing. Of course, <clears throat> we are also Filipinos and therefore, we will not wish any harm on our people. Our, the GMO products we are developing are as safe as the conventional products. Biotechnologia para sa kalikasan, kalusugan, kagandahan, kabuhayan, at kaonlaran. Lamang ang masa at mga magsasaka sa limang K ng biotechnologia. <laughs>